giant tiger shark. She's the biggest shark I've ever seen. Maybe the largest tiger ever. Oh. And she has friends. They all go vertical together underneath. Multiple approaches at the same time. Now. Let's do it. To find out why she's so big. A lot of sharks here. Are there more like her? You and Pyrrhic, you literally are dancing on tigers. And unlock the mystery of what may be. Get on the boat. The world's biggest tiger shark. <laughs> In 2006, French Polynesia bans shark fishing in two million square miles off the South Pacific. Now, 14 years later, these waters bustle. A vibrant shark -copolis. More than 20 different species. Here, tigers rule. These apex predators are the deadliest sharks in the world after great whites. In the last decade, tigers have killed more than a dozen people worldwide. But here in French Polynesia, the government welcomes these sharks. More and bigger tiger sharks appear in French Polynesia every year. Marine biologist Cory Garza thinks marine protection is changing the tiger population. Tiger sharks are apex predators, and their presence is a good indicator that the population is thriving and the ecosystem as well is thriving. It's become a magnet for monstrous sharks. One mega shark in particular may be the largest tiger shark alive. Nine months ago, Corey filmed this female here and named her Kamakai. We have seen some really, really big sharks, but none quite like her. Male tiger sharks can grow to a whopping 13 feet. Females, even bigger. And Kamakai, She's off the charts. When we first met Kamakai, it was really unexpected. And I've been diving with tiger sharks in multiple countries, and she's by far the biggest I've ever seen. The smaller sharks took a, took a back seat to her for sure. Corey is five foot eight without her fins. Based on that, Kamakai is more than 16 feet. How much more is hard to tell but 18 feet would be a new record. She could be one of the longest tigers ever filmed. But it's her girth that truly sets her apart. It's not just her length, but her width as well. She can be five meters long, but when she's like three meters wide, including her fins, like that's insane. Corey has a theory that something about the Pacific Islands helps tiger sharks become giants. It'd be really cool to see her again and see what more behavior we can learn from her. It could also give us some insight into the areas that she's been since the last time we saw her. Now Corey wants to find Kamakai again and maybe discover the secret of her size. Kamakai may reveal to science what it takes to become a mega shark. Okay, here we go. Cory enlists cameraman and shark conservationist Andy Casagrande to help search for Kamakai and unlock this mystery. She's got to be one of the biggest tiger sharks that I've ever seen. Andy knows big sharks and knows how to be in the water with them. Bring me the shark. Whoa. That's good. This research is all about being up close and personal. But Andy's never dived 
with the tigers of Tahiti. There's only a handful of spots in the world where you get this sort of density of tiger shark action. Super pumped, this is day one. Less than a mile from the main island of Tahiti is a hot spot known for big sharks. You can see we have sharks here already, just as we pull up. Some black tip sharks, gray sharks, and hopefully we can see some tigers here. Let's suit up. Their plan, to take pictures of as many dorsal fins as they can. Like a fingerprint, each is unique. They'll use the fin shots to look for a match with Kamakai. Okay, ready, Kai? One, two, three. 